Hi guys, it's Paul from Unsung Angler and today we're going to tie a PMD split case nymph or my version of it. I'll put a materials list in the description below. So I already have my size 16 nymph hook in the vise and I'm going to apply a base of brown thread. Normally I use 6 aught thread when I'm tying nymphs. You want kind of a buggier, bulky body. Well, I mean I do on some. For this fly I'm going to use 8 aught because I want to keep that the diameter of this fly thinner than you think you would. After my thread base is down, I'm going to tie in a tail of dyed mallard flank. Two loose wraps just to get it on there. And then I like to pull it until I get the length I want. I'm looking for about half the half to two thirds of the hook shank length. Throw a couple more wraps on there tighter secure it from our excess off. Next we're going to tie in our dark brown lifestyle nymph dubbing. We're going to want to put this very sparse on our thread. Like I said we want to tie a nice thin body on this fly. I don't want a lot of guard hair sticking out of it so very thin body fly once we're halfway up the shank I'm going to tie in some yellow goose biot this is what's going to give us the appearance of that wing case splitting open and the yellow mayfly coming out so I'm going to take the tip side, just trim a little tiny bit off the tip. And tie this in. This is important that we keep this right on the top of the fly. A few wraps to secure it. Once we have the biot tied in, we're going to use some nymph skin for the wing case. This is kind of a rubbery material. I find it difficult to deal with. I can never seem to get it tied in where I want to. If you have a better way to tie it in than I'm doing it, please comment below. I always try to put this on my side of the hook and then throw a loose wrap on it and gently pull it in and check it. Make sure that you're on top of the hook, as you can see here, and you want to get it pretty much in the middle of where your goose biot is. We want that to split the uprights as uh, as we pull our wing case forward. Okay, so now that we got our yellow goose biot in and our wing case, we're gonna go ahead and use the same dubbing that we used on the body, but we're gonna go thorax now. Go a little thicker here, but we still want a very thinly profiled body on this fly. Be careful when you wrap this on because it's very easy to get this nymph skin to push on the opposite side of the hook. So that's looking good there. Let me just get it up to the front of the hook. You're going to need to leave yourself a little extra room here. It's about a little more than you normally would, I think. So next we're going to pull our nymph skin over the top of the thorax and tie it in. Keep tension on the nymph skin until you get tension on the thread. Throw two, three wraps on it and give it a look. Make sure it looks like it's centered on the top of the hook. I think we look good here. So once we feel like we have it centered on the hook, I'll, I'll throw a couple more wraps in and just trim it off. Once we have that trimmed off, we're going to take our goose biot and fold it over the top. We want to try to keep this as centered as we can over that nymph skin. The thread went on a little weird. Don't 
Doesn't look too bad. A few wraps to secure it, and then we're gonna cut our biot and build a head. Once we have our head built, I'm only gonna do one whip finish because we are gonna put some UV epoxy on this wing case. I mean, to me right now, it doesn't look that great. I think the epoxy really makes it pop. It's gonna add a little more durability to it. Get a drop of that on the top, just cover it up. Hit it with the light. And that's it, split case PMD nymph. Well, everybody, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from this new video. This is a super easy pattern to tie, and it's very, very effective. We did very well with this pattern. We were in Montana last year. If you haven't checked out that video, I'll put a link in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, please click the subscribe button. Till next time, thanks again for watching.